This is the head actually turning, cutting the last bit of rock. After 13 months of drilling, Pohakulani, the tunnel boring machine, completed the three-mile gravity sewer tunnel from the Kailua wastewater treatment plant to the one in Kaneohe. The windward side has a 3.2-mile tunnel that connects Kaneohe and Kailua. That's quite a feat for the windward side and the island of Oahu. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do this in other places. And why do I hope that we can do this in other places? This is about living more sustainable and more green. Instead of pumping sewage under pressure, and as you know what happens when you pump it under pressure, if there's a force main break, a lot of sewage comes out of the ground really quickly. But if it's gravity flow, there's no pressure, and we're not using energy or electricity to pump it. We're using gravity, Mother Nature, to move it from one place to another. The gravity sewer tunnel is the first for the city and the second largest infrastructure project behind rail. At its deepest, the tunnel is 400 feet below ground and 13 feet in diameter. The next phase of the project is to install the pipe to carry the waste. This is the pipe. This is the pipe here that we're going to be lining. Now, you see it curves, but you've got to see the whole thing. It's very thick, and it's amazing how they're going to kind of float this styrofoam cement kind of stuff so it wedges it in place. And it's pumped in, right, or and something? And we pump so it in. in. We have to pump this about three and a half miles. So it's not floated, we actually pump it in and we put it in beside, behind the pipe. And that locks the pipe in place so you have another layer of insulation. This particular pipe that uh, the owner of the spec on this has a life of, a protracted life of 100 years. Caldwell says the first two phases of the project cost taxpayers $350 million. An additional $21 million will be spent for the third phase. The upfront costs seem to scare everybody. What the people don't see is the long-term maintenance cost on force mains. Gravity sewer, once it's in the ground, it's pretty much there forever and you don't have to do anything to it. Construction on the tunnel started in 2013 and should be completed in two years. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have this tunnel turned over and start uh, the pump systems that uh, um, we talked about. There's odor, uh, con odor control systems that are also going in. And, uh, and then this is also the, one of the wonderful things about this project is that um, it's working so well, we're looking at doing more of them throughout the island. Caldwell says the city is looking into installing another gravity sewer tunnel from Waikiki to the Sand Island Treatment Plant.